Gil greetings, this is Garth RS, the Tireless Adventure, with another episode of Star Made. This is going to be a tutorial on spacecraft. However, before we do that, I just wanted to point out, this is one of your main sources of income right here. Now, I came in with um, my ship and blew out all the turrets, but this is a pirate space station. And the, what you want to do is you want to take out all the turrets, and you want to take out the uh, what is effectively the station's core. It'll be somewhere in the bottom, probably. I don't remember which one of these is the bottom, but it'll be like right around in this corner or in this corner or over. It'll be one of these four corners. It'll be like a, it'll look like a ship's core. You just go ahead and take that out. Now, what I'm in right now, let me go ahead and stop so I don't lose this vessel. Uh, what I'm in right now is Rhett's Scavenger, which, as you can see, is massive. And you get in here and you'll see that he has oodles of salvage cannons and oodles and oodles and oodles of salvage cannons. I mean, that is the thing right there. That is literally just hundreds upon hundreds of them. And uh, there's his jet engines right there. There's his shields. It's got, it's just, it's just oodles. And this is probably power. Yeah, this is probably power right there. And then he's got more engines in the back, but yeah, along the side. So it's, it's definitely a huge vessel. But let me show you what, what you what you can do with a, a vessel when you get enough of them. Now, you're going to see some some white beams. These are the salvage cannon beams. Let's just go ahead and turn those on. It's a little hard to see what's going on, but you can come in kind of close and get a little better visibility. Now, they're not in every square. They're in every other square like a checkerboard. So all you have to do is pretty much just fire and then sweep real slow. Like that, and the ship just melts. It's just melting away. And boom, that's what it looks like when you're done. So you're like, oh my god, that's amazing. And you're like, I totally know. Yeah, this is Rhett's ship. Uh, he built this um, after we salvaged uh, one of these, I believe. And it took like a week to do it because our salvage cannons, I mean, we had a lot, but we didn't any, have anywhere near as many as we should have. So... Yeah, but this is basically how you're going to make your money. Because at the very bottom of the center core here, I'll show you. The very bottom of this center core, right here in this area, you'll find the plexi lift. And then you'll find like anywhere between two and four chests. In those four chests will be all kinds of loot. No, loot will literally make you millions upon millions upon millions of, of, of credits. It's just ridiculous how much, how much credits that you can get from that. Now, when I came out here, I was sure to completely en empty my inventory. So when you salvage anything, whatever you salvage goes into your inventory. So you can see it's all down here and is over here. Now, I don't have, I didn't, I didn't come out here with anything except the salvage ship. So I have absolutely nothing in my inventory when I started. And you can see that it's just literally melting it away. So I'm going to finish this up, and uh, I'll head on back to the, to the space station, and we will begin uh, the tutorial on how to build a space station. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. 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 All right. So we are back, and I'll just give you a quick rundown on what I plan on doing. As an example for this station, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell what I found, and make a profit now ice crystals like we just take one of these you right click to split a stack and you can go ahead and just put that one we'll just drop that one in there you see ice crystals are worth 500 woot that's pretty good uh, another thing that's worth a lot is plexiglass it's worth 500 uh, these things right here purple docking unit enhancers I don't oh we can't sell anymore because it's already full but the purple docking, I'll just show you this. Purple docking enhancers. Uh, ship. Where'd it get? Ow, where are you at here? There's all kinds of good stuff in here for sale. It might be on Space Station. No? Oh, it's under General. <laughs> docking. Okay. Uh, they're worth 400 apiece. Uh, docking units worth 300 apiece. Docking enhancers. I mean, all the stuff that we found, we could we could definitely sell a lot for. Like these plexiglass, these plexi lights, they're worth a grand apiece. So, 
we could take um, we don't really need that many so let's take one eight two two and sell them see look at that seven hundred thousand right there boop all right now we have a million <laughs> and I believe a million is what you need for a space station so as you can see we made one little trip out there I sold a thousand of my plexi lights, one ice crystal, and one. I uh, tried to sell one plex, uh, one glass, and we already have a million, which is not really that bad. Now, one of these things that you're going to need right here, boop, build block. You want to make sure you grab one of those. They make life super duper easy. Now, let's see what else did I get? Uh, build block. And, okay. Well, when when you find the ship, let's. Uh, two three four you will get at least four plex uh, plexi storage so let's go ahead and do that uh, plex left lifter you can also use on a station and those those are pretty good and another thing you want to use is the gravity gravity unit let's just grab one of those okay Boop. all right so let's find a decent place first of all I want to show you my awesome ship boom that's guys running around ship right there what do you say what do you think you don't need anything if all you have is a block uh, ship core you don't need anything else so there's our station and I think maybe uh, let's see let's go over into this sector right here the very next one over and let's see what we got in this sector we got the shop we're going away from uh, a player well that's my station and a planet let's keep going Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go a little ways out here, and I'm going to build a starship. Now, there's a special way to build a starship or, or space station, and I'll show you here in a moment. Uh, let's see. Let will scroll back up. Oh, here's a little tidbit. If you ever open this window and it's, like, empty, scroll up. All right, so we have a shop that I totally missed. Ooh, what's this? It's already a space station. I don't have any kind of... Uh, you can open that window with N, by the way. N for Nancy. Let's see what kind of station that is. Is it just a regular station? Which you can also you can you can uh, you can utilize those. They're not going to be really worth anything because you can't. I guess you could. I mean, you could you could claim it for your own, but that's not nearly as much fun. Yeah, it's just one of those blank ones because usually you'd have all kinds of red icons for pirate. So yeah, you could totally uh, harvest that too. That, that one's brand new. Definitely need to write that down. Two eight twenty seven. So two eight twenty seven, and I'll come back with a scavenger ship later and totally own its face off. And, but we don't want to. We don't want to build there. So let me find a good location, and we'll totally uh, we'll totally build us something awesome. Awesome, I say. Awesome. Okay. So, I think I found a fairly suitable area, and uh, the plan on this one is quite simply to build it near a shop. Um, several reasons. I personally find that there's less pirate activity around shops, but that doesn't mean you're not going to have any pirates at all. Ooh, what's that? What is that? What is that? Stop, stop, stop. Stop, stop, stop. Stop. I'm so curious. I have, don't think I've ever seen an asteroid with that on it. Are those ice rocks? What is that? Dude. Tutorial slash expedition slash adventure. Alright, always make sure you're completely stopped before you get out of your ship. That's a huge... Where the heck is my asteroid that I had the special stuff in? Was that... Was it just not rendered all the way? I'm curious now. It looks like a Millennium Falcon, doesn't it? I can't do can't do uh, Wookiee sounds anymore. Uh, the, la the latest update had a couple of texture changes. Well, actually, quite a few texture changes. And uh, I was actually pretty impressed. There's some lava. You want to stay away from that stuff. Some more lava. Let me find it weird. Just right-click the mine. Uh, looking for that. Like, it was like blue. You know what I mean? I've never seen that crap before. I've lost my ship. Oh, there it is. <laughs> that was like, where'd it go, yo? 
Oh, this is a pretty good little asteroid feel here. I like this. What is that? I was totally went to the wrong thing. So let's go down here. Yeah, that's what ores look like now. Right there. And the, the bigger that is, the higher the level. So that was probably a level one. That's probably a level one. That's probably like a level two. Let's see what this is. Open my inventory. It's just regular ice. I'll check that nonsense out. I guess that's the new texture for ice. I've seen ice before. I'm not a noob. All right, shop. Here we come. This ice, you know what? I'm going to build it just over here. And then I can go hit those up whenever I want. Look at that. All right. So what you want to do is you want to get out of your ship like that. So you're out of your ship. And then if you go into your options, you can go to your keyboard and you can see in controls of character and space, spawn space station is the letter M. Ooh, I wonder what that stands for. Uh, so, no, I don't want to do that. What are you talking about? Okay, so let's hit that letter M and see what happens. Boom. Do you want to create a new space station? To create, actually, it says, to create a new ship, please enter the name of your choice. But we're going to do a space station. So we're going to call this uh, space. You can't use spaces, which is funny. <laughs> In space. Anyway, space station beta, because this is the number two. And then you hit, okay. Boop. And there you go. It created a space station. There you go. That's your space station. All right. If you enjoyed it. Oh, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> it is a little funny, though, isn't it? All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our build block that we bought because I told you you, gonna, you was going to need one. And we're going to stick it right to the bottom of this. And I, I picked the bottom because whenever you leave build mode, you appear right here anyways. Actually, so let's put, stick it to the side. Uh, left click to place. There you go. So now I can actually enter this build block just like I was in a spaceship. Just like that. And now I'm in build mode on my space station. So, R to enter it. And uh, space doesn't do anything because you can't go back to ship mode. So what we're going to do is we're going to obviously turn on the odd sim mode. Now, if you don't turn on odd sim mode, when you when you zero it up, the YZ plane, it will uh, zero up on the edge. You see? Uh, we don't want that. We want odd sim mode. So let's go to unset and then reset it. Boom, right there. And uh, you know what? Let's just set all three of them. And then we'll set that one right there. So now we have basically a central point. I don't want that central point right there, though. I want it on this thing. Ah, so I'm so picky. So let's go on this. And then we'll go on this. Did it go? To the, no, it went over to the side. What are you doing? What are you doing? There we go. There's one and two. And then we'll do the third one. There you go. All right, now it goes through the center of our center, our center block. So I'm super happy. I don't know about you guys. Now, there's several different advanced build tools. You can use these for spaceships as well, but they work really well for space stations because you build on such a large scale. So what we're going to do is we're going to select uh, the gray hull, which we have. Oh, I didn't even show you that. Look at these numbers. Um... Yeah, 26,000, 20,000, 13,000, 67,000, lots of power. You know, that's, that's, that's good stuff right there. All right. So let's go ahead and let's pick the gray. And we're going to hold down the left control again to get into our advanced UE. And we're going to set this up to go X, Y. So that's how you can figure out what X is. X is that direction, this way. This is X. And then we go to Z, which would be probably this way. Yeah. And Y would be up and down. So, but we don't want that up and down. What we want to do is build a fairly nice sized flooring. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to put it right there and see how it copied it in all four quadrants, which works out perfectly for me. And the reason I like this odd symmetrical is because I like odd numbers. Odd numbers are always more fun to build in, in from my perspective because this was 10 and 10, and then we have one right at the middle, which makes it. 21 total yay okay now our space station is going to be a little more interesting than a big giant cube however you can do pretty much whatever you want i'm going to go down just a little bit here to level five and i'm going to go one on the outside there 
and fill in the crack in the middle and then probably or remember to get the, the special tool brush or the special paint brush for your hull you have to hold left control to get that so I figured that that actually that will actually kind of give us a good feel right there Ooh, nice all right then we want to go back to the five again and just go one from center and fill this in now as you can see uh, I'm going through the hulls fairly quickly but not nearly quickly enough to be an issue so we don't really have any concerns as far as that is considered concerned why is that longer what did I do different did I mow some in on the side you know what I'm gonna just I'm gonna do that I'm just gonna fill this in because I only have to do it on one side or one corner even there we go all right so this is gonna be our our, our platform for our space station and I figure uh, this is going to be where our docking arms are going to be left and right and uh, we'll probably do something really cool with the upness so speaking of upness let's go ahead and bring this up all the way to 10 and let's bring this down to 1 for right now and then we can just bring up some corners because I oh I forgot about that one. Oh yeah if you make a mistake oh yeah if you made a mistake I just placed 10 of them one you go up to remove mode and then you can go like that oh actually you need to right click to remove and then you just right click remove and then right click remove and then right click remove and then we want to remove the um, the green one which is the Z this one is it this one no, it's not. Of course, it wasn't going to be that one. Why would it be that one? <sighs> what? Oh, no. Did I remove the middle? The build block? I did. I removed my build block. That's embarrassing. <laughs> get in the build block. All right. So um, let's get rid of this one. Let's unset this one real fast. And then let's reset this one on that plane right there okay so now we're back in the middle again and i can totally reconnect <laughs> never delete your bell block okay so let's go out of remove mode um and let's go back into build mode and when you come out of build mode you'll see the numbers will still be there but you still have to cycle them back up so let's go up on that one and we'll go up on that one uh and we'll go up on that one and up on that one and that gives us a pretty decent looking beginning. And we'll bring this over here. Now remember, because I have the way I have this quadrant to trunched it out, it's going to make the exact replica on all four corners. So if you don't want a symmetrical base, you only want it to be left right symmetrical, turn off whichever one that you want. Like if you want these two to be alike but not those two to be. If you want these two to be alike and these two to be alike, but not these two, you want to turn off one of your uh, symmetries. That's it's that, it's that simple. So let's go ahead and, uh, because I have a great idea of what I'm going to do here, is we will do that, and then we'll do the blues in the center. I like that. Oh, that looks nice. And then because purple is a flavor flav color, and because it's beautiful, and everybody who's anybody loves purple, we'll just go ahead with that. Now, to move quickly in build mode, you hold down shift, and that's how you do that. It's completely done. It's just beautiful. It's the most impressive thing ever in the world. All right. Um, let's see. One of the things, and this ice crystal is actually worth a lot, but let me show you a little something you may or may not know about ice crystals. I need to go down. There we go. All right. If you place ice crystal, um, it glows. Oh, are you kidding me? It glows? Are you fro serious? I am totally fro serious, brother and sister and aunt, aunt and uncle. It glows. Turn off the lights, and it it's beautiful. I love it. So let's go ahead and let's column these in with black and I believe no I always pick the wrong one now remember this will flip-flop so if I put it this way 
it'll turn it 90 over there. Or, yeah, it'll turn it 90, or, well, you know, it'll turn it 90 as needed. Let's just say that. Well, see? As needed. Oh, I gotta turn this, because... Well, let me rephrase that. Like, let's say this was an angled wedge. Um, an angled hole wedge, it would flip at 180 so that it would look right over there. That's what I meant. I was a little misleading on that one. Alright, so now we have four basic structures, or one basic structure to build off of. And this is basically pretty much all on you. Whatever, whatever you think you want to do, you just go right ahead and do it. I mean, because literally it is super, super, super up to you at this point super up to you now the um the space station itself can't move so putting thrusters on it uh it's not gonna do anything for you uh, if you want to build a space station that moves build a spaceship that's that's my best bet that that's well your best bet your yeah you're not mine but yours your best because not mine but yours and then we'll take this one and we will put them up there and boom see it won't overlap and build extra so you can totally use it. This is probably my favorite aspect, this symmetry building. It's my favorite aspect of this, of, of the whole building thing. It's just the most beautiful thing that anybody could have ever come up with. Now, when I put a ceiling on this, it's going to get real dark inside. So you, what you want to do is you want to make sure that uh, you have either windows or adequate lighting. And since we have an abundance of white lights, what I figured I would do. In build mode, you can go true things. In build mode, you can go true things. So let's go ahead and put, because this will be the center right here. So let's put a white light tower right up the top. Now you notice the more I put, the brighter it gets. Yes, exactly. So what you want to do, because lights tend to glare off each other, you don't want to mix your colors up too much. Uh, I'll give you an example. Uh, let's put red down and I'll show you what happens when you put a red and a white light too close together. And you see, look, here we go. See how they kind of glare off each other and they, they lose something. So if you want to, if you want to put multiple colors, space them out just a little bit. And try not to have like a red lamp shining on a white lamp. Or a, I think it's yellow and green are the worst combination. So the, those tend to kind of like lose their luster. There we go. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. Now remember we have our build block right here. So whenever we leave build mode by clicking R, it puts us in the bottom. So remember that. Uh, I, I made my station like this and then I built up and then Rhett built down so now when we exit build mode it drops us all the way to the bottom so remember that when you're building now another thing you don't want to do when when building because it kind of ruins the whole light feel if you put blocks in you see how it's starting to block the light so now the light that I had that was going in 100 or 360 degrees is now greatly reduced in all but two directions pretty much straight ahead so if you're going to use lighting um, use it smartly it will it will block even all the way out here so the light is intelligent to a degree and as you can see this is completely dark and this one is light so you're gonna have some lighting issues but remember again this is in alpha so let me go ahead and enclose this section real fast and we'll create a couple of doors and I'll show you how to do um, the docking, which I'm going to have to go buy at the shop because I don't have enough money. Yeah, and it was a million, by the way. I don't know if you, you watched that when I, when I put it down. But I'll finish this up real fast, and then, uh, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so the rooftop is on. I put a nice little thing on there that looks like a thing. I don't know what it's supposed to be, but I liked what it looked like, so I did it. There you go. That's what building a space station is all about, people. All right. Now, as you can see in these corners, it's still kind of dark. So what you want to do is you want to add lighting. And I'm just going to show you a couple of lighting tricks that I've found that work well. Now, you notice that that didn't work well. 
actually that's a misplay that's a misplace i was trying to put one in there because you there's no limit to your reach on these so as you can see that's not really a good idea because we have that whole angled thing going on there that angled thing doesn't work well for lighting however come if we put it like right here you see an even bigger issue and i don't know why that is once again alpha you, there's not like a whole lot that you can say other than alpha so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this plexiglass or this right here and you notice that this plexiglass does block the light a little bit but it also adds a pretty cool little uh visual that's not what i wanted the 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 visuals are what you're really going to work on function yeah that's great but honestly if your spaceship it, it makes you happy then it's perfect <laughs> so don't worry about you know uh design as long as it makes you happy so let's figure out some ways that we can totally light up this area without having to worry about lighting glitches now we notice it works now you notice it works now see we're playing around here we're trying to figure out what's going on now this worked now it doesn't no it does no it doesn't so you just got to pretty much play around with it. Find out that good the good spot. You may have to add to and take away to get the lighting to update the right way. So let's put this one over this way. And this one. I'm totally screwing up here. Alright. So it's a little bit of light right there. That's not too shabby. We could totally work with that. Uh, and then let's take, so that is what, two from the wall, three from the wall. So let's come over here, one, two, three, and we'll put one right there. Now remember, we're building in quadrants, so everything's going to come out pretty nicely. So let's go ahead and take some hulls and build our starting uh, airlock for our first docking port. Now remember, like I said, this is symmetry building, so it's building it over there as well. Um, now remember, when you come in here and you remove, it removes symmetrically as well. And I like to color code things. Like I use green lighting for entryways or walkways or whatever. Or I'll use red lighting for factory or white lighting for ambience or ambience depending on how you want to say it uh like totally now we want to do three on this so let's go back to this and bring it down to three because i think three works well because remember we're gonna have airlock oh, that's not what i wanted there we go okay i wanted uh, let's do blue halls. Nine. Let's do blue halls. That sounds like a great idea. Gart, you're so smart. I know, right? I know, right? Uh, huh. You know what I forgot to get? I forgot to get the docking stuff. You know, I, I use turret dockings. That's fine. For now. Just remember, turret docking and regular docking equipment both work the same way. That's the important thing to remember. So we have our first docking arm, and it's important to build it out quite a ways if you're going to have a ship of any kind of substance, or any kind of substance, sustenance. Now remember, see how this arrow is? The default, the default is forward. You see the the green going that way. Uh, when you park a ship, because I haven't changed the facing at all, when you park a ship, it's going to park facing that way. Remember that. It's going to park facing the default direction, always. So let's go ahead and we'll put a docking unit. Actually, let's build it out a little bit. And uh, we'll put the docking unit on there. Now when you hold control on the docking unit or the, the regular unit, whether it be turret or uh, ship, you're going to see this UI. See this? You can't really see it right now, but there's a little red square right there, a little, a little brighter red. You see, watch it move around. There you go. And there. Now that is what you want. You want that facing in the direction you want your ship to dock in so if you have let's say you have something you want to dock and you want it to be facing straight up and down like this you want to have that red face coming out this way 
instead of going up. But we're gonna we're gonna dock right. And when you put down the docking thing, you're gonna see right away that it gives you a green square. This is the square that things can dock in. That is your area. It's five by five by five. And you're like, well, Garth, my ship is bigger than that. And I'm like, I totally know. Most people's ships are bigger than that. But what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to do two things. We're going to first select our docking unit with C. And then we are going to place enhancers. Oh, we put one down and it got bigger. Oh, it got even up higher. All right, so you notice in this direction, it makes it go higher. Oh, sweet. wonder what happens when we put one on the side. Oh my god, it got bigger. It got smaller. Put it down here. Oh, it got bigger. Does this work? No. You have to go in one direction. So we have, remember, these are symmetrical. So it's kind of doing the same thing over there. The downside is because I've selected this one, those on the other side are also tied to it. But they're not going to, they're not connecting, so they won't affect it. Uh, so let's go ahead and tear it out that way. You know what? Let's just turn off the um, blue one. Yeah, let's turn off the blue one. That's totally working. Okay, so they can build on the other side. That's fine, too. Uh, but as you can see, the more you add to the side, it adds, it changes the width. The bottom changes the height and the inside and that's why i build them out like this so i can build up underneath here and you see the depth changes so that is your three dimension axis into x y and z that's how you make a larger docking unit now remember you're going to use regular docking enhancers and a regular docking unit for a ship let's see do i have uh i do have a, a ship around here somewhere there it is over there but you can totally dock things like that now when you dock things, it, you cannot put anything else in this area. So let's say, oh, I want to, you know, put an awning over here that comes up really high uh, like this. Um, and it comes out and totally, oh, wait, All right. docking module offline area is blocked. It's that simple. You cannot build into this area. Now, you're also going to wonder yourself, how in the world am I going to get a square sh or, or a round ship in here? So let me actually, let me hit R and we'll come out of here and I'll go get my ship and I'll show you, I'll show you uh, how, how it kind of works. And this is, this is like theory for me right now because there's not a lot of documentation on how the system works and how it calculates the space and the volume and all this nonsense. But as you can see, we now have a nice little purple, a little purple indicator on our thing. So now it's like a real, real life toy. Um, docking unit selected already zero left click boom we're docked and there's our ship docked on the docking unit the thing with a with a turret dock is you can actually maneuver your ship while you're on the turret unit which works out all right so let's go ahead and go into build mode on this and I'll show you something um, I like that let's do this now, we remember it was said it was 5x5, five five, and then we added some more. So let's go ahead and let's just build a really, really, really long ship. Size of dock structure too big for docked area. Hmm, undocked. Imagine that. Now, I wonder why that is. See? See, it says docking area is too small for your turret to dock. It's pretty much the same thing for a ship. Hmm, I wonder how we're going to fix that. Let's take a few pieces off. And we go back in there. Boop, and we're docked again. Just like that. All right, so that is effective. Remember what I said, how it was going to face in one direction? Well, there you go. There's the direction it's facing. Come, go faster. Uh, uh, okay. So the ship is going to face in the direction, the default direction of the... Uh, the turret as you can see there's not a lot of choice in that they might have some more choice in it later uh, there's no way to rotate the uh, the block this way you know so that it's front is that way uh, but there is a way to, to rotate it like like a cube basically so that's the basics of docking
Now, um, there's another thing that I wanted to show you guys, and I think the best way to show you this would be to go back over to my, to my main um, space station instead of this one that I'm going to dub Rainbow Bright because it's so awesome. All right, so let's get out of this. We're at the bottom again. And we need to go... Where's my ship? There it is. Okay. And uh, I'll fly back over to the other space station and I'll show you the different uh, the different things that you can do with that. Because I've showed you the basics on how to create it and how to build in it. I've showed you the basics of docking. Now let me get rid of these so I can fly fast. And then uh, I think that pretty much solves all of our problems. I'm undocked. So let's go. Now... Remember this, people, 2829. Don't let me forget that. Okay, 2829. Put it in the comments below if you'd be so kind. Actually, you know what? This is probably a good place to go ahead and uh, call this. And what I'll make a separate, I'll make a separate uh, tutorial for the manufacturing part. Now, the the tutorial after the manufacturing part is going to be the creation um, of turrets themselves and how to place them on, on your star on your star base or however it was and how and how you can effectively do it covering angles which is very very hard to do because a lot of turrets um, are are obstructed by their base and I've found a fairly decent way to keep that from being a huge issue so if you have any questions uh, anything you'd like to see put it in the comments below and I would greatly appreciate it thank you for your feedback if you do leave any thank you for your time and definitely thank you for clicking that like button if you did that so until next time I'll talk to you later bye bye